In today's lesson, we'll be representing dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. The objective is to use visual models to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. In our essential question, how can I use visual models to divide a whole number by a unit fraction? Remember, unit fractions are fractions that have a 1 as a numerator. Remember, the numerator is always the top digit in the fraction. Let's look at this problem. Felix has two yards of ribbon. He needs one quarter yard to make one bow. How many bows can Felix make? Well, let's go ahead and draw a model to represent this problem. The first thing we have to think of when we read the problem is what is being broken apart. As we read the problem, it says Felix has two yards of ribbon and he needs a quarter yard to make one bow. So we can see that Felix has, is going to be cutting up the two yards of ribbon. Next we need to represent each whole number by a rectangle. Since we have two yards of ribbon, we're going to represent it with two rectangles. Now we need to determine how many pieces each hole is going to be broken into. If we continue on with the problem, it says he needs one quarter yard to make one bow. How many bows can Felix make? So we're going to break each yard up into quarter yards. Now we're going to divide the rectangle into quarters. Now we can see if one yard has four quarters, then two yards has to have eight quarters. We can represent this algebraically by two divided by one quarter equals eight. And now we know that Felix can make eight bows. Let's take a look at another problem. It says Georgia has five yards of ribbon. She needs one third yard to make one bow. How many bows can Georgia make? Well, once again, we're going to see how many rectangles we're going to draw. Since we have five yards, we're going to represent the five yards with five rectangles. Now we're going to determine how many sections each hole is going to be divided into. This time, she needs one third yard to make one bow. We'll be dividing each of the whole numbers into thirds, three sections each. Now we have our holes divided into thirds. Now we can count and see how many thirds are in five holes. And as we can see, there's three holes in one yard. So there are going to be 15 thirds in five yards. So how many bows can Georgia make? Georgia will be able to make 15 bows. Now, how can we represent this out in an algebraic equation? Well, we know we took 5 yards and we divided it by 1 third, which equaled 15 thirds. So it shows that Georgia can make 15 bows. 